Mmm. Some more snow. Some more snow. They're so bad. <sighs> All right, so as you guys know, I've had the 944 for actually a little over a year now. It's been driven basically every day basically a few hours a day on average um so i mean for a 30 year old car it's gotten used very 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 well in the daily driven aspect but um due to snow and due to this breaking down every month and being out of commission for about a week just about every month um i needed a daily i've talked about this a few times but um something came up and i thought it was a really good deal so i bought this it is a 2008 bmw 335 xi sport wagon so i got me a hatch and i can also lay down in the back seats for camping and stuff which is also really cool and what's also really cool about this it's also really cool about the 944 is it that, that being a porsche and this being a bmw you'd expect that they would both be very very pricey but actually they're actually pretty pretty cheap um and so i was looking right around five grand for something all-wheel drive this is x drive so therefore it is all-wheel drive also i apologize for all the dirt uh, this is the first nice day i've actually been able to record and i have been driving it a little bit um i've already got 200 miles on it since i bought it um it currently has 116,000 though but yeah it fit my little want of right around five grand all-wheel drive so this is the nicest vehicle like i've been looking for a few years now in that category this is the nicest vehicle that i have found that um fits that category it is actually really clean too um there are a few discrepancies in the interior so for one, the passenger cup holder, someone actually broke it. I just discovered this today. Um, so you can't actually just push it in. You have to actually push this down and push it in, which isn't that big of a deal, to be honest. Um, the sunroof sometimes doesn't close all the way. You kind of have to push the, uh, the visor down that comes up in the front uh, in order to get this to slide back. And then that uh, the cover back there is very torn up um, and also doesn't close either. So it's got this kind of foam stuff that's kind of a little bit on the floor, but there's not too much. But yeah, those are the little small discrepancies in the interior. But yeah, I have a full panoramic roof. Um, this actually has the cold weather package too, so I get the heated front seats. Also get a heated steering wheel. And in all honesty, this is, I mean, Liam put it as a fully loaded 335, which, or 335, 535, uh, which it isn't. But I mean, it's actually very, very well specced and very well equipped. I do like the seats. A lot of people don't like tan or beige seats, but I actually do quite like them. Along with the exterior color, is pretty nice too. It comes with some decent packages like the heated seats and steering wheel. 
Also, it has rain sensing windshield wipers along with adaptive headlights. So whenever you turn, the headlights actually turn with you. It's really, really cool. Um, so this car, this car when it was brand new started out at about $54,000. Um, this car exactly was 60320 I think, if I remember the number right. It was $60,000, I know that. So I got a very, very, very good deal on a on a pretty high-end German uh, luxury car. It's, it's actually really, really nice. Also, I love this uh, manual mode. So you can slap it over, and it'll go into sport mode, so it'll just keep the RPMs higher. Um, and then if you slap, and then if you push it forward or pull it back, uh, it either downshifts or upshifts, and you go into full manual mode. Um, it will still shift for you if you're going to over rev it or anything like that, but you still get control over it, which is really, really nice. It also sounds great being a twin turbo, uh, in line six, making 300 horsepower and 300 foot pounds of torque, I believe, if I remember right. Um, so in all honesty, it is really quick. It's not fast, fast, but it's, it's quick. It moves, it scoots. Um, I'm just trying to think of some more things about this. Also, it has rear window shades. That was another package that they added on. So you can pull, there's a shade right there. You pull up and hook into there, along with pull back there and hook. Uh, that'll actually cover the back windows, which is actually really cool too. But I'll go ahead and start it up for you here. Um, just so you guys can hear. Now, I have been driving around today. I don't know if it's going to be a cold, cold start, but it'll be, it'll be a normal startup most likely. But here we go. So now that we've got it warmed up, let's give it a few revs. It does have a really nice sound to it. Plus I have this whole iDrive system, which is honestly not as confusing as some people say, but it is interesting. I will say that. But there's so many cool options in here. Like you can change like what vents that uh, come out of where for the, I'm not, I don't know if you guys could see that or not, but now you can see. Um, so yeah, you can see like what vents you control, what the air comes out of, you can control the temperature, stuff like that all through there. Along with, you can actually control the how, like where the heated seats actually heat, whether it be um, underneath on the like actual seat part of the seat or the backrest. It's really, really cool. So I think what we're going to do now is we're actually going to head to the back so I can show you a little bit back there. So now back here, we've got a full cargo shade, along with what I believe is like a dog thing. So you put this up and your pets can't get through to the back seats. It's my guess, I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but yeah, I have a full cargo shade right here, which is also really nice, along with some space in the floor. So yeah, I mean, in all honesty, this is a really nice car. I mean, it's a five series BMW from 2008. When it was brand new, it was 60 grand, and I bought it for around five. So, I mean, it's really not a bad deal at all. Plus, um, honestly, the way I found out about this car was the people that I work with. Um, my boss actually found it on the internet. Um, he showed it to me, he said he actually wanted to buy it for himself. But I started looking at it closer and closer, and then he was like, you should get it. It'd be great for you since you're just dailying that right now, and it breaks down all the time. You could have this all-wheel drive fairly reliable he banked it on the fact that it has an n54 engine i believe that's what it's called so there's a lot of upgrades that i can do to it from what he said he tells me i don't know if i'm going to do those upgrades or not but it is a possibility so yeah you know doug's bmw i could have something kind of like that in this which is awesome yeah guys that's my brand new well not brand new but 2008 bmw 535 xi sport wagon new car Drives and POVs and just stuff about this will be coming soon. Along with that, I'm not stop driving that, definitely, because cars are still meant to be driven. There's no way I'm going to stop driving this. Um, it'll just get retired a little bit. Not retired, retired, but it'll retire as my project car to get as much horsepower as I can out of it. Hoping around 1,000, but I don't know because the, the transmission can only hold 6 at max. The frame can only hold six at mass without being caged, so I would have to cage it. 
So yeah, this car is gonna be my project car slash fun car. That car is gonna be my daily that I drive in crappy weather or just on long road trips that I'm scared this is gonna break down on. <laughs> so, cars are meant to be driven. That's gonna still, still get driven. This is the new daily. Also, apologies for the late video uh, a few days ago. My internet was down for like a week. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. It's great to see people's faces whenever she goes by. They're like, oh, a horse on a road. We're taking uh, her, her her horse, Dexter, uh, to my house so my mom can see him. Because my mom loves white horses and he is a white horse. Well, technically he's a gray horse, but he's a white horse. He is a white Arabian from that is owned by my girlfriend, Blossom, who started her YouTube channel, put up her first video of the horses. She's actually riding him on that video that she put up. So go ahead and subscribe to her, support her. There will be more horse content on both of our channels since, I mean, well, I am dating her and I record my life and this is my life. <laughs> so yeah. If you're wondering what car I'm driving, I am driving her 2004, I believe it is. I keep getting the year wrong, so I'm sorry if it's the wrong year. 2004 Chevrolet Cavalier LS with uh, brakes that need to be replaced. So yeah. I'm just following her to my house, that way we didn't have to walk the whole way because I, I don't ride horses yet. So, <laughs> that would that would have taken a really, really long time. I touched him. This is how horses greet each other. They sniff each other's nostrils. That's better than dog greetings. <laughs> Dexter is nickering. He's like, I'm back. Oh. <sighs> Dexter's upset. This horse is like, look what I can do. Poor Dexter. He's like, but that was my soulmate. <laughs> Is that a female horse though? Actually, yes. Oh, she's Dexter's trying. She's now found his girl. Yes. Yours are so spicy, jeez. This is that time of day where headlights don't do anything and it's dark, kind of. So, I mean, you really can't see. But you can still see it all at the same time. And we're back at my house. Uh, this is the next day. So what I'm gonna do now, before the video closes out, I'm going to take this for a drive, um, POV style. Now there is a small discrepancy when I was on my way home today, the check engine light came on. Um, now that I've heard is caused by the fuel filler cap not being tightened all the way. So I turned the car off, got out, came back here, popped this open, took it off and retightened it, got back in, started it up. Didn't come on, let it run for a few minutes, didn't come on, revved it a little bit, didn't come on. So hopefully it was just that and not an actual issue with the engine. However, if it is an actual issue with, any engine, with the engine, the dealership I bought it from has a one month or 1,000 mile limited warranty on basic powertrain components like the engine, uh, transmission, axles, stuff like that. So hopefully, it's only $50 deductible. So hopefully, if that is an actual issue, it is something with that, and they fix it for me for free. That'd be great. Hopefully, it's the turbo issue that these tend to have. 
um, because that does cause a check engine light. It also rattles on cold startup, which is also a sign that that is the turbo ish turbo issue. Hopefully it isn't, but I hope it happens. If it's going to happen at all, I hope it happens within the first month and they fix it for me. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in a second in the cockpit. Hopefully we don't get a check engine light. Fingers crossed, hopefully. No check engine light yet. Pretty quick. Not gonna lie. It's so much fun. It really is a lot of fun. It's not gonna lie to you. Yeah, but it is very comfortable and very quiet in here. It's really nice. Nice supple relaxed ride but it still handles very well it's still the steering is very direct it's not super light steering uh, but it's light enough to be comfortable like I can drive with one hand perfectly fine but yeah it's not it's not super super stiff steering but it's not super super light either like right now it's fairly light but whenever I like get into a corner and I have both hands on the wheel and everything it it's actually gives you a lot of good feedback it's amazing this car handles very very well There's a puffer and deer. This car has honestly got a lot of torque too. I mean, it moves. That is one thing that's kind of weird on this car is where the indicator is. It's a little bit higher than normal cars, which is kind of awkward, but yeah. Alright, well listen, anyway, this is going to conclude the video of me getting my first car, plus a little bit of blossom on our horse too. There's also a Tesla Model 3. Um, he lives around me. But this is going to conclude the video, guys. Uh, make sure you go and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, or with this car, or with the 944, or with anything. Um, 
like I said, cars are still meant to be driven, therefore I will still drive the 944 on a weekly basis, probably multiple times a week to be honest. But yeah, go ahead and make sure you subscribe for this more for more content like this. Also like the video if you liked it. Comment any video ideas, anything you want me to do with this car, anything you want to know more about it or the 944 or anything. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Peace.